Hey guys, real quick, just want to say, one, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. It's right there. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a long, long time. Not a long, long time, not like a year, but it's probably been about three weeks maybe since we've done another video and we really just try to strategize on what kind of videos we want to do and what do we want to bring you. We, we, want, to, we want to try our best to do different content and uh, just really have fun, fun, fun with what we do. Uh, we don't get everything right or correct, but we just have fun with what we're doing. We're reminiscent about stuff we remember from the 80s. I was an 80s kid and a 90s teen, and I just enjoy, and everyone at the Funhouse team, if you know it's a family, we just enjoy reminiscing, having fun, and talking about the games of the past, games of the present. So today is going to be a fun one. We're going to be talking about some of the Mini Coleco and Tiger Electronic handhelds from back in the day. They have made a comeback because I've seen them many, many times in a lot of the uh, uh, GameStops. And uh, it's not the same to me. It's cool to see them in there and that people are buying them and playing them and having fun with them. But it's not the same as only the original stuff from the past. So enjoy the video. Let's have some fun. Coleco Tiger Electronic handheld fun. Okay, so one of the first handhelds, which is not a Coleco or a Tiger Electronics, it was from McDonald's. If you guys remember, McDonald's back in the day would do this. This was from 2004, so this isn't like super retro, but it's the early 2000s. This is the Sonic one. Um, McDonald's did this. I don't. Rem I honestly can't remember when these are. Um, I don't remember these being a McDonald's, but they came out through McDonald's because the back says McDonald's 2004. This one I would show you playing features of it, um, but be oh well, it does somewhat work. If you can see that. So this does some work. When I originally picked it up, I paid like a quarter for this because it was at like a yard sale. I just thought it would be a fun little piece to have. But it looks like it works, which I'm pretty sure if I just take the screws out, I can get it to work. But if you've ever had one of these, you know. And you can see in the video clip that I'm showing here. Pretty simple. This was basically when Tiger Electronics was around, um, this is what you were getting. But these, so remind me in the comments, help me out if you remember these, what was the, uh, if there were other ones as well. There were other ones besides this one. It's the only one I found. I'm pretty sure I can look online and find it, but here's the first one. It does work. Mm. This is one I very, I remember to a T because I had this one. It was just wrestling. Growing up, I was big into the 80s WWF, World Wrestling Federation, wrestling, you know, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, you name them from the 80s, uh, it, was, it was just fun to watch the 80s wrestling. I don't watch a lot of the wrestling now, some of it, but not a whole lot of it, but this was the game. I remember my mom buying me this brand new, it's a 1988 Tiger Electronics, and it's plain and simple, wrestling. It's a very simple concept on it, you get to pick from the four right there one of the four select characters you get to pick the one you want to be I would always be number three and these are the opponents you have to beat I actually beat this a few times to become champion and I um, you actually get to continue of course all these Tiger Electronic games very simple to do in a way but they can be challenging because they have uh, little strategies that you got to do. So it, it does give you somewhat of an idea of what you got to do. This to me was one of the best Tiger Electronic handheld games because one, you got to pick out of four wrestlers to be, and then you had four opponents to beat to become champion. Not the hardest game in the world to play, as you can see in the clips. A lot of fun. I still enjoy this game to this day, and I'm glad that I have this in my collection. It is something I still play. So one of the other Tiger handheld games I've got, I don't have that many of them. Um, actually, they're kind of hard to find out in the wild, as people say. Um, and I have found it kind of hard to find Tiger Electronic games. Um, but the one that I did find, I found this, and I still have it on the back. I thought I took that off. I paid a dollar. But I've never seen this one, never played it. It was Dinosaurs 1988 Tiger Electronics. Um, I actually just started playing this because I forgot I had it.
Uh, but it's pretty basic. It looks like it's got the jump, pickup, dodge, forward, attack weapon, sort of that. But basically, in the game, you are the caveman running from. There's a dinosaur behind you, like a velociraptor or something like that. And you got to pick up weapons as you're trying to get away. And you also got to use the weapons from other uh, to defend yourself, of course, against other dinosaurs. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this game, but it works. It's in decent shape, and it was a dollar. So, so I only have two uh, Tiger Electronic handheld games. Um, I am looking for some of the other ones I had when I was growing up. Um, there's there's so many great Tiger handheld games. I love the artwork on them. But those are the only two I have for the moment. And Coleco now. I remember Coleco games very, very fondly. I remember. Um, I'll show you one of the games I've got that's in box that my sister owned originally when it first came out. She had gotten it for Christmas, and it was a great thing. It was like 1985, 86. I was about five or six years old, somewhere around there. But it was her gift, and she's older than me. But still, here's one of my favorites. When it comes to Coleco, I mean, you don't, don't go wrong with Donkey Kong. This baby does work. Works really great. Super clean. I mean, it's got some damage. Missing the the, the sticker decay, decay, sorry, right here. Um, back. I mean, it's not in the best best shape. This sticker decay is perfectly fine. The front one, you can see, it's kind of coming off. But the front, everything, the screen, everything is really, really nice shape. Um, I don't really care what, if it's missing stickers and this and that. As long as the thing plays and it really just helps me reminisce about growing up. This is one we did not own growing up. My sister didn't get one. I was too young. My mom would not buy me one because I was five or six years old when these came out. So this is the Donkey Kong one. I bought this um, at the Classic Game Fest, I believe. Yeah, I think it was a Classic Game Fest. I bought it out about a year ago, maybe two, somewhere around there. But I picked this up. Really love the Coleco games. These are a lot of fun. If you've never played any of the mini Coleco games I suggest if you see one hey I buy it okay and another thing guys if you hear noise in the background I'm sorry one I forgot to mic up I'm not mic'd up and two my AC unit is kind of loud in our playground area so I apologize for that but it is summer in Texas so this is a really cool game if you've ever played the Donkey Kong Jr. Coleco wow I really enjoy this look at that stickers are really good shape the back looks good. It's got the stickers there. Again, like I said, the front stickers are here really nice. And the panel here is really clean. Everything works. This game works great. Up here is the only thing is I guess someone had wrote their name on it. But if you've never played these Donkey Kong games, they're um, not hard to understand it's a pretty simple process basically as you can see here on the buttons you've got game A game B and time so the time button was if you left the batteries in it and you kept the time it would be just like a clock or you know an alarm clock or something it would keep time so you would have your batteries in there running and it would keep the time for you the screen up here if you don't know this is for sunlight as you're playing the game the sunlight radiates through the little visor up here so that the more sun, the brighter the screen. This is a really fun game. I really like this game because one, you're Donkey Kong Jr. trying to rescue Donkey Kong, and you gotta get the key, and you gotta make your way across the map, as I think it's birds, if I'm correct, that are trying to stop you, of course, and you're trying to unlock Donkey Kong from his chains. But of course, like any game, there's a there's a key to it, especially with these. These LCD games, you may think they're simple and it's not a hard process, but You've got to do multiple things in order to free Donkey Kong. So you got to do it more than once. Great game. This is one. Did a little research because, like I said, I didn't realize I never had this one. But when I bought this one, I came to realize that these are actually hard to find. I did not know that. I love the way it is designed. I love the way this thing is designed. I mean, that's so, so unique how they made this one compared to the... Uh, Donkey Kong Coleco one. This is so much different. This is one of my favorites. I uh, never owned it, but this is one I really enjoy. It's, it's a lot of fun. 
you've never played any of the Coleco games, I cannot highly recommend it enough. Re re regardless of how old you are, you've got kids, let them try it out. It's going to be a little difficult for kids if they've never played one because it's not like your typical modern games. And if you're a retro gamer, an old school gamer, you know what I'm talking about. So let's okay. move on. Okay, so are you ready for this? This is the one I was telling you about, guys, when I was growing up. I think it was 1986, 1985, 1986, somewhere around there. And it was Christmas, and I remember my sister, because she's a little older than me, she had gotten one of these for Christmas. It was great. It was cool. Um, you know, I've gotten, like, He-Man toys, um, Knight Rider, stuff like that. Great toys, which are highly popular nowadays. But this is one my sister got. I had gotten this maybe two, three, well, maybe two years ago. I found this one, picked it up. Pac-Man. This is probably the most well-known Coleco mini arcade known, I would say known, because this is the only one besides Donkey Kong that I can recall. I didn't know how many other ones were out there. I realized, you know, as I got older that Galaga and stuff like that was made, but I, it came with the box. This, if you've never played Pac-Man, uh, it is, it is Pac-Man, but the noise and the sound effects that they use for the game are extremely annoying. But other than that, guys, it's a great game. I remember me and my sister would play this. She would let me play occasionally. And she had to be there supervised to make sure that I didn't break it and I get it. I was like five or six years old. And of course, like I said, she's a few years older than me, so it was her gift. But my mom hated the noise that the Pac-Man made. And if you've ever owned Pac-Man Coleco, you know what I'm talking about. This is the box. The box is not in horrible shape. I mean, it's old, of course, but I've got the charger for it. I believe this is the, yeah, this is the original charger for it. I didn't know it came with a charger. I could be wrong. I think it came with a charger. If it didn't, it did now, but anyways, super clean. Oops. I had tape still in there. But super clean Pac-Man. As you can see in the video, this is, it's an annoying noise. But it's a lot of fun. This is I like this because it's a two-player game. You can play two players head to head. To me, this when it comes to Coleco games. This is the one that holds the most nostalgia for me because this is the one growing up, seeing, um, being able to play it originally and my sister having it and the one we had of course we ended up breaking the top but we would just put it back on. This is the one for me that brings the most memory to me as a kid growing up in the 80s and I'm pretty sure if I showed my sister this, I don't think I've showed her that I've had this, this thing is so clean, she would probably want it and I'd probably just give it to her but still, Pac-Man ColecoVision awesome game got the box got a good got a great deal on it um, that's one I just enjoyed playing so guys other than that I want to really just thank you for just taking a few minutes enjoying our video watching checking out some of the uh, footage of playing the game if you've never played any Coleco Vision games or Tiger Electronic handheld games give them a shot they're fun they're a lot of fun I mean some are probably better than others I'm sure especially when it comes to the Tiger handhelds some are a lot better than others. I've played many of them in the past when they were, came out, and I wasn't too thrilled with them. It was kind of like, eh, not the best. Like I said, the wrestling one's one of my favorites. Other than that, guys, make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching our video. Here you go right here, so you can hit that subscribe button. Make sure you uh, got the uh, um, ringer dinger thing going so that you are aware when we've got more video content coming out. We're also on Instagram. Or we have a Facebook page. Make sure you check that out. We are also on Macari. If you've ever been on Macari and you shop around looking for some fun games or anything, I mean, we put games, uh, VHS movies on there, some fun uh, stuffed animals from the past. I just recently put up an American Tale Bible uh, stuffed animal plush on there. I had gotten that and I've had it for a little while and I was thinking, well, maybe it's time to let it go. Even though an American Tale, I seen in the theaters as a kid. I love that character. Great character. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned because we're going to be working on more content, more fun stuff, Retro Fun House, join the Fun House. If you're looking for a fun YouTube channel, games, movies, TV shows that bring up the past like Stranger Things, we're the show for you. We just like to have fun. We are not 
experts. We just like reminiscing, having fun. That's why we're the Fun House. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Join the Fun House.